How is everyone today? So students, I'm sure you must be doing great. Continuing with the topic, heat of your class 7th. This heat, we have already had a brief introduction of the chapter and today I'm going to just continue with the topic. Basically, what we are going to study today is the thermometers, their differences and their functioning. Now what we need to understand is basically that to measure the temperature of any substance or an object or a human being, we need an instrument like we need instruments to measure like length is measured or weight is measured. There are different different kinds of instruments which we are using. Same way to measure the temperature, we are using an instrument which is known as thermometer. Now this thermometer word is derived from a combination of two words. Or ye do words kaun se hai? First is thermo which means temperature and then second is metros which means a measurement. So if I join the words it means thermometer which is an instrument used for measuring the temperature. Now another important thing that we need to understand ki is temperature ki definition kya hai? Temperature means it is the degree of hotness of an object. So this is very important from examination point of view. Basically, we need to understand कि कौन कौन से thermometers हैं, कहाँ use होते हैं, कैसे use होते हैं, उनको use करने के लिए हमको किन बातों का ध्यान रखना है, so I will be dealing with them one by one. So coming to the first, that is the clinical thermometer, which is used to measure the temperature of only human beings. अब ये जो क्लिनिकल थर्मामीटर है जब हम ह्यूमन बींग्स की टेम्परेचर लेते हैं जब हम अपनी टेम्परेचर लेते हैं तो किन किन बातों का हमको ध्यान रखना है दीज आर द प्रिकॉशंस दैट वी नीड टू टेक सो द फर्स्ट इज कि जब हमने थर्मामीटर हाथ में पकड़ना है तो हमने उसको वॉश करना है बिफोर एंड आफ्टर यूज एंड द सेकेंड प्रिकॉशन इज कि हमको उसको थोड़ा सा वी नीड टू जर्क इट सो दैट द डिग्रीज और द मेजरमेंट स्टार्ट एक्यूरेटली and the temperature or the mercury falls below 35 degrees centigrade. Why? Because our human body ki jo temperature hai, that is 37 degrees centigrade and the range of the correct measurement of the thermometer is 35 degrees to 42 degrees centigrade in case of the clinical thermometer. Ab isko read kaise karna hai? So firstly, we will wash the thermometer, we will put the thermometer in the mouth of the patient and then we will take out the thermometer after a minute and then we will try and read the measurement or the marking of the mercury or the level of the mercury keeping our eye directly over and above or parallel to the measurement or the marking. Now these markings when we see ye do taran ki hai. Ek hai jo bigger marking hai aur ek hai jo choti marking hai. So we need to see ki kitne chote markings hai do vade markings ke beech mein. If for example there are five small markings in between the two bigger markings so each reading or each marking will be 1 by 5 degrees centigrade. So coming to this, the next precaution that we need to take is that when we are jerking the thermometer so that the mercury falls below 35 degrees centigrade and we get the correct or the accurate reading, be careful ki aap usko kahin pe touch na kar do kisi hard surface pe because it is made up of glass and it can break. And another thing is ki uske andar jo mercury hai that is very toxic, that is very harmful and when you come in contact with that mercury, it can be really dangerous. So it should not break. Another thing is, when you are taking it out to read the temperature, be careful that you don't touch or hold the thermometer from the bulb. Aap usko uske piche ke stem se hold karoge and then you will take the reading or the temperature. So these are some of the precautions that we need to take when we are handling the clinical thermometer. Now coming to the next type of the thermometer is the laboratory thermometer. As the name indicates, the laboratory thermometer is used in the labs or the laboratories. Now in labs or laboratories, what is present in the labs? Chemicals, hote hain, there are other objects which are reacting, which are having very high temperature, or maybe there are certain liquids or there are certain acids and all. And if we have to measure the temperature, naturally the temperature range has to be much, much more. So, kitni hoti hai is temperature range that is minus 10 degree centigrade to 110 degree centigrade. Coming to the next is that ye jo chemicals hai which are having the high temperature when we are taking their reading, we need to immerse the thermometer in between the chemical. So, you have to be careful when you are taking the reading in case of the laboratory thermometer. The thermometer does not touch the sides or the base 
of the beaker in which there is a liquid of which you are taking the temperature. Another thing that we need to remember is कि जब हमने reading लेनी है तो thermometer should be kept inside that liquid only जिसके आप temperature ले रहे हो because the moment you take it out the mercury level falls and you will not be able to get the reading of the temperature. So we are seeing कि इन में जो आपका clinical thermometer है जो आपका laboratory thermometer है इन में बहुत differences हैं so I am just going to mark the differences make you understand the differences one by one once again so just remember ki in dono ki jo temperature range hai jo ye measure karte hai that is different in case of clinical thermometer it is 35 degrees to 42 degrees centigrade in case of the laboratory thermometer it is minus 10 degrees centigrade to 110 degrees centigrade in case of the clinical thermometer we take the thermometer out of the body or the mouth of the person and then take the reading but in case of the laboratory thermometer the thermometer has to be kept immersed in the liquid or the substance of which we are taking the reading and the third difference is that when we are taking the clinical thermometer out of the mouth of a person the mercury does not fall and why is it so there is a small constriction which is preventing the mercury flow or dropping of the mercury and this is known as the kink and the kink is just above the bulb but in case of the laboratory thermometer, there is no such king. So just remember children, these are some of the very important differences. And this is a very important question from the examination point of view. So you need to learn the diagrams of both the thermometers. You need to learn the differences. And in case this question comes in the examination, what you need to do is just draw a small thermometer in case of the clinical thermometer and a laboratory thermometer and then list down the differences so that you do not miss out any difference of these two types of the thermometer. So students, I'm sure you must have understood all about the differences between the two different types of thermometers, that is the clinical thermometer and the laboratory thermometer. In the subsequent videos, we will be studying how the heat is transferred. It is transferred by the three main processes like conduction, convection and radiation. We will also study why the dark clothes, they absorb heat and the light clothes do not. And we will also study about the breezes, that is the sea breeze and the land breeze. So children, stay connected with me on my channel, Rise to Shine.